Holy Week is the opportunity to walk with the church throughout all time, throughout all the world, as she walks with her bridegroom, our Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Week is an opportunity to focus our minds on and intensify our affections toward the love of Christ. Holy Week is an opportunity for us to go deeper in our relationship with Christ. I encourage you to take some time to find a comfortable place to sit and reflect on the passages of Scripture that tell us about the events of this week. Reflect on Matthew's Gospel, chapters 21 through 28, or Luke's Gospel, chapters 19 through 24, or Mark's Gospel, chapters 11 through 16, or John's Gospel, chapters 12 through 21. Block out some time, sit and reflect, find someone to read with or read by yourself, and focus on the events that Christ went through for all of us. If you'd like a specific biblical passage to center your uh, prayer time, your devotion time, I would encourage you to use Ephesians chapter 3, verses 16 through 19 as a goal for your prayer and reflection. That according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. As we walk with Christ, from his trial to his arrest to the painful trip to Golgotha, May we reflect on the events, may we receive again or experience again the reality of his love for us. From the resolve of Palm Sunday, to the intimacy and fellowship and communion and prayer of Maundy Thursday, to the sacrifice of Good Friday, and on to the triumph of Easter. May our hearts, our souls, our minds be filled with the love of Christ, and may we experience the newness of his love for us.